Students and staff at a Cedar Rapids Middle School are celebrating their success in the classroom. The state says Wilson Middle School students saw an impressive growth in their scholastic ratings, ranking higher than before the pandemic. KCRG TV 9's Kristen Rogers is joining us now live in the studio after meeting with leaders at the school. Yeah, and Jim, we've heard a lot about learning loss during the pandemic, and like most schools, Wilson did see a dip during that time. But it's the way they've been able to bounce back that they're proud of. We're taking these two, adding them up, subtract from 1,000, we get to 490. Students at Wilson Middle School are taking in lessons taught in the classroom. Action, comedy, and horror. And they're scoring higher as a whole, according to the state. Wilson has its highest score that it's had in the last five great, five years, excuse me, since the uh, school report card was, was released five years ago. The state gives each school a performance profile, or a report card, so to speak, based on ESSA test scores, or the Every Student Succeeds Act. The test compares scores in subjects like math and language arts to the state average, but it also measures growth. Seeing our students grow academically and watching them learn new things and really excel in, in ways that we thought that they would have some decrease because of all the challenges that were out of our control. In 2018, Wilson's overall score was classified as needs improvement. The following year, they bumped that score up to an acceptable rating. During COVID, they experienced a dip back to the needs improvement level. But their latest rating is not only acceptable, it's a higher rating than they received pre-pandemic. Coming out of COVID is one thing. I think it's also coming out of a couple decades of, of a perception of how Wilson is. And we're breaking that perception. Wilson is, is on the rise. Wilson's overall rating isn't the top for middle schools in the Cedar Rapids School District. But they're the only middle school that saw their highest overall rating in 2022. Leaders believe several factors are involved, including the move to making sure every student has a laptop and with it implementing iReady programming, a personalized math and reading tool. Staff say consistency, dedicated teachers, and building relationships have all played a role as well. I want to create a school that I want my kids to, to attend. Um, and we're moving in that direction, and I have no doubt in my mind that my students and my family uh, will attend Wilson. And those statewide tests are taken in April. It takes several months for official scores to come out. Wilson staff are hopeful they'll continue their upward trajectory this spring. In the studio, Kristen Rogers, KCRG TV9 News. A group of Illinois men's basketball fans won't get to follow through with their plan to get into this week's game against the Hawkeyes.